Hi, I'm Mark Rudin. Welcome back to Nomad Boat Building. Now, those of you who watched my more recent video about doing simple jig setups for small scale production might have noticed this little bandsaw. This is a Milwaukee Porta band, and I've just used a few scraps from around the workshop to turn this from a mobile machine into a stationary machine. I thought we'd just take a quick look at how I did that. Now, there's nothing fancy about this setup, just an aluminum plate and a few bits of angle iron and just some off the shelf electrical hardware in order to put it all together. The switch is just for convenience. It saves me from having to fumble over here with the trigger. Just a piece of wire wrapped around the trigger in order to keep that depressed. And to take this on and off, it's dead simple. Just to unplug that, the whole thing just is held together by this one little star knob on here that holds this clip in place. That clip interacts with the base plate on the saw and the whole thing just slides right off. The whole setup relies on this little air port that they built, got built into the body of the bandsaw. The base plate has the contour of the saw body right in here and there's the tab that carries all the weight. The tab on the base plate just fits into this little vent hole here. The saw has a secondary vent, so I'm not worried about blocking the air. You know, one trick is that you need to retract this base all the way back. So this is a uh, base on this saw is able to project forward, but I found when it's projected forward, there's a ton of play in it. So I built this so that it's used with the base brought back as far as possible. Here's my tabletop setup solution. Really simple, uh, just two cleats that slide in alongside the, um, the tabletop that's on the bandsaw itself, and then one little dog that slides over, captures it with this thumb screw here. You drop your saw in there. It just slides in. Tighten our dog down here. So that's held in there firmly. Don't need anything on that side. Got this angle iron base that sits on here. It's gonna get screwed in place. And in the shop here, I've just got my down pipe here for my flowing system. And I'm just gonna strap this guy to the down pipe with some big hose clamps. You can see the contour cut into the base plate here. Just nestles in with the rest of the saw, and then we do up the clip underneath. The accuracy is pretty reasonable, however the saw has got a fair bit of play in it. And so for that reason I don't rely on this for a high degree of accuracy, but it does make cutting small parts far easier and safer. But that's it for today folks. If you enjoyed that, now don't forget to subscribe and like and share hit that bell. And if you could help support these videos by joining me on Patreon, I would really appreciate that. And you can find links in the corner or down in the description. Until next time, get out to the workshop, get your hands dirty.